Hey guys, it's Chris Fate with Cheat the Game coming back at you. I was uh, taking a look at this game. Uh, a member of CTG on the Facebook page uh, had a question about this game, so to tell you the truth, I just wanted to get it and you know play around in it. But uh, uh, this has nothing to do with his question. But uh, I ran into something, and I thought it was uh, something I could actually share because I get this question all the time uh, when you guys write me is that the difference between the graphical codes and the internal codes sometimes don't correlate with each other a lot of times they do but there's certain times that they do not and here's an example i'm going to show you now is that the graphical displays are counting from a high value to a low value yeah, there's a bar that's full this is your exertion bar and when you're swinging a, like a wrench that i have here you swing the wrench you know it exudes energy and the graphical displays are counting down to zero and then when you reach zero you're you know fully exhausted and you got to have this cool down period of letting the bar fill all the way back up before you can you know have full energy again well trying to find the internal value that's controlling all this is actually doing the opposite it's counting from a low value from a zero to a high value so it's the complete opposite of what the graphics are showing. And I'm going to show you this here. So you may run into this sometimes, okay? So this is one of those situations. And I'm going to show you first. <clears throat> We're going to try to find uh, these codes the normal way we normally do. When the bar is completely full and it's being decreased, that's the way we're going to look for it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to settings, check my scan settings. I'm going to take out 2 byte, and I'm just going to leave on float and 4 byte. Because those two are the most you're going to find most values on anyway. So let's just go ahead and uh, get started. What I want to do is go ahead and start swinging the uh, wrench. And just go ahead and have the graphical display up. You saw the bar that decreased there. And we're just going to do an all and unknown initial value. Okay. Now I'm going to let the bar fill back up and we're going to increase the value as it's filling up. And I'm using my hotkeys, so, but I'll show you, okay? So it increases. I'm going to use my hotkey and I'm going to go increase value. This may take a minute or two, so I may just pause this while it does that. Okay, we're just over a little, over a minute and a half results here. So I'm just going to unchange value. Get rid of some of these changing values at the moment. And as the bar increases, it auto it's like an auto hill. It's, as it regenerates, we're going to keep going to increase value, increase value, increase value, and so on. Like we normally do with an unknown value when we only have a bar reference. So increase, 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 and at the very end, increase and unchanged. And that should get us to some values rather quickly. And as you can see here, we got float, and we got 5,000. On a four byte at a different address, float at a different address. So, more than likely, these are the graphical values. So, if we freeze them all, does that help us? Well, we see that the bar is being manipulated, but look, it's filling back up. And we can see over here that when we do that, look at the values over here, they're still filling back up. So they were not the internal value. There's an internal value that's still going down. Even though the bar is showing us is completely full. And we run into that a lot. Now it's filling back up. And then right here, that's when people start writing. Well, I filled the bar up, but then all of a sudden it starts filling back up. What's going on here? Well, that's because you're trying to freeze a graphical code. The graphic graphical codes are in control of what's being displayed on your screen there's also other codes in regards to you know memory checks things like that that may be controlling a flag or a flag may be watching uh, for internal usage as well but we also consider that in the graphical code category because they're not really affecting the value we want affected so I just include those in the graphical code so we can sit here and hit on this all day and guess what we're still gonna lose energy See, look, they did nothing. So let's say we sit here and tried every single value type. We tried four byte, we tried byte, we tried two byte, we tried double, nothing. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you do all those and I'm not going to show it, uh, you're going to have the same type thing happen. Well, what else can we do? Well, we didn't do the opposite. 
and you're like saying, well, why would I do the opposite? It's going from a full value, from a full bar, all the way down to a nothing bar. And we even see the graphical displays are counting down every time we uh, hit. Check the graphics up. They're going down. Going all the way down to zero. Look at that. And then they're counting back up to regenerate. Once they get to the full, the top value, we can swing again. But nothing's happening. Sometimes the internal code that's actually controlling all of this is actually doing the opposite. It could be counting from a high value to a low value or a low value to a high value. The graphical codes do not have to match what the internal code is doing. In this case, it's actually going from like a 100% value to a 0%. And the graphical codes are doing the opposite. And here it goes. What we're going to do now is I'm just going to go to float and bypass the all step. We're going to search for an unknown initial value. Now we know that the bar is completely full, but we're going to assume it's starting at zero and that the more we use the weapon, the more it exerts itself, so it's increasing exhaustibility, so to speak. Okay? So let's do that. So as the bar decreases, we are going to hit increase. Alright, so let's knock it down to about right there, okay? So instead of going decrease value like our graphical codes are doing, we're going to go it increased in value. Could we possibly find it that way? We'll find out. I'm going to go ahead and save what I got. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now the scan is finished. We increased the value as the bar decreased. So let's go back to it and let it, the bar is going to fill back up now, but we're going to keep hitting our hotkey decrease value. Okay, decreased. Decreased, 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 and let it fill, and then all the way, and now we're just going to do unchanged. So now what we want to do, we only got 13, so let's take a look and see what's going on with these values here. The ones that I'm interested in are the zeros. We got another one, so let's get rid of that one. So I'm going to go ahead and knock it down, and look, you can see that there's some that are going from 0 to 1 and also that 0 to 100 and it's counting back down to 0 as the bar fills up. So it's possible that any one of these could possibly be our internal value. But for now I'm more interested in the one that went to 100 just for the sake of time and I just want you to watch what happens. I'm going to freeze that value that's at 0. Now you see it's still going down but get, look, look how many times I'm doing this and it's not going all the way down. So what would happen if I unfroze it? Let it go all the way down. And it's at 100 now. Let's, let's freeze it at 100. See what happens. Take a look at our values over here. They're, they're remaining steady. The graphical display bar is not refilling. It's trying to, but Cheat Engine's writing to the value and the game's writing to the value, so they're having a little tug of war at the moment. But we can see here that none of those were the internal value. These are counting back up. However, the internal value is counting down. The complete opposite of what's actually going on. So make sure that you have tried every possible scenario with to try to find your internals before giving up, going into backtracing or, or anything of that nature. There is an internal in there controlling all of this somewhere. And you will find it. You just may have to use unconventional means to find it. Now this is just a step below encrypted values because crypt, encrypted values you know, they don't increase or decrease. They just jump all over the place. You can have a, a high positive value, then the very next hit it'll be a negative value or, or vice versa. But uh, but for now, that's what it was. And I'm going to go ahead and find out what writes to this address when we... And it brings up our opcode that is obviously writing when it subtracts. And we see a different location when it adds. So usually you want to modify both of those locations. So that's what I'm going to do. Is when it's subtracting, I automatically want it writing a zero into there. Let's take a look at the uh, more information. 
see if there may be uh, well we could possibly use XMM6 XMM2 XMM3 I'm just gonna try XMM2 because that's carrying a zero and I just want zero wrote into there so since it's at this location it's carrying a zero that's what I'm going to do but I also want you to notice something about this in the assembly here you have a comis which is a, uh, a compare for the XMM registries because they're huge registries so a comis is the same thing as a CMP just for 64-bit uh, registries you have our particular code that we want to modify and you have the conditional jump or the compare so our code falls in between this anytime that happens you want to save the current state of your flags and restore them okay you always want to do that because going in there messing with what's already happening could you know inadvertently set a flag that don't need to be set right there so and that can cause some in-game glitches and all kind of things so what we want to do is preserve the state of the flags and then uh, restore them right after we do our modification so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this uh, stamina stamina sub this is where it's subtracting that lets me know what that opcode is actually controlling and I'm just going to change that to XMM2. But what I also want to do is I want to push my flags. And right before the conditional jump, I want to pop the flags. That preserves the state of the flags and that sets them back to what they was, just in case this messes any of them up. That way that they're restored as soon as it goes back to here. Because if it hits a conditional jump and you put the pop F underneath this, and it meets the condition then it's never going to restore the flags and your game's going to crash so keep that in mind so we're going to save that and we also want to do the same thing to where it's regenerating because they do work with each other xmm2 so let's go to that into the dissimilar and you can see we got the same thing going on here it's in between this is in between a compare and a conditional jump so we do want to preserve the state of the flags in this area uh, we see where it's comparing an XMM2 registry with XMMO and it only wants to jump if it's above so we know as long as there's not a zero in that XMM0 registry if it's higher than zero that condition is never going to be met it's never going to move the zero into RCX in which we know that a zero for the internal code means we have a full bar so keep that in mind so let's go ahead and uh, modify this one as well and we'll do an AOB injection here also we're going to put stamina add well let's not do that let's put regen because that is actually a a function okay now we can go combine these scripts and you do that by just changing these names right here and I'm probably going to combine them later but I'm just not going to do it here in the vid I've already showed how to do this several times now I'll link those vids if you'd like to go see them but just remember we want to save this current state of the flags I push F and we want to restore them right after our modification we're going to change that XMM2 that's carrying the zero it'll automatically keep putting zero into there and it will restore the flags to what they previously were in case anything got changed so let's cut both codes on now take a look we can swing all day and we found that because our internal code is doing the opposite of what the graphical codes are doing and if you look over here you can see the graphical codes are staying at their high values and the internals are staying at their low value so keep that in mind when you're having a hard time finding these internal codes a lot of times they don't have to match I know I've told a lot of people that and they still didn't understand what I was talking about some of them didn't but uh, Here's an example of that happening, where the internal is doing the exact opposite of what the graphical codes are doing. So I do hope this helps you in trying to dig a little deeper in finding these codes, okay? Come join us over at the Cheat the Game Facebook page. we got a lot of game hackers that hang out there. They are 
excellent at what they do if they can answer your question they certainly will do so we don't go too much into online gaming but there are certain uh maybe facebook games or online games that if some people have some experience in there they'll help you too but i don't personally get into them but uh we also got a website coming out it'll be at cheatthegame.net it's not out yet but it's getting close to being done we had a little setback due to hurricane irma we just want everybody to stay safe if you happen to be in those affected areas please keep safe just no cheat the game and all the admins are there for you also i want to thank my partners over at my patreon uh it only costs a dollar to join up and you will be a partner here and you will see your name displayed every time I create a new tide or anything. I'll keep adding to it. This really helps out uh, to go into our uh, towards the cost of getting our website up and things of that nature. Everything's going to cheat the game. So any help would be appreciated. I, I do thank you all so much. And I thank all the members of CTG for, for being there and all that you do in helping people. All right. Well, listen, guys, I'm out of here. Uh, this went on a little longer than I wanted it to. But I will be coming out next week with a new video we're going to get into how we can write constantly to a pointer value we've already done it one time with a code cave with create thread however this time we're not going to be doing that we're going to be using Lua which is a more modern way of doing it and we're going to start getting into Lua and kind of work our way up in Lua and we can do a lot more things in there it's going to be really good so keep, in, keep an eye out for that alright you guys take care keep on hacking most importantly please enjoy yourself that's really what it's all about you cheat the game fellas because believe me doesn't mind cheating you you all take care now Thank you.